In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to skip the GeForce Now wait queues entirely anytime. So, a lot of people have been complaining about wait times, especially after the release of new popular games, and free users have been particularly affected by this. However, I have a few methods you can use to skip these annoying wait times. So before I show you guys the ways how to skip the GeForce Now queues, I do want to say that I have made a membership page where you guys can join for only a dollar a month. With this, you can join my Discord server where you can get help for your NVIDIA GeForce Now issues and automatically be entered to a monthly GeForce Now gift card giveaway. You will also get priority reply to comments and shoutouts too. So make sure to join by clicking on the join button right next to my channel or clicking the link in the description to join. So, there are many ways to skip the GeForce Now way queues. One of the ways is to simply join my GeForce Now gift card giveaway. To enter, make sure to like this video and subscribe and then I want you guys to click on the video in the top right and watch that entire video saying that you liked and subscribed. And once you've done that, make sure to comment on both videos saying that you subscribed and liked this video. And at the end of the month, I will announce the winner of this giveaway and give them the gift card. Also, the more videos you watch and comment on, the better your chances are. So make sure to watch as many videos as possible and good luck. Another way to skip the GeForce Now wait queues without the giveaway is to first open your browser. And what you're going to do is go to this website right over here gfn.sortos.me and what you're gonna do here is simply look for a server with the lowest amount. There will be a video in the top right explaining what this is and anything else you guys do need to know. So I highly recommend you guys watch that first. One important thing that you do need to know is that these are only for Europe servers. I believe the people making this are going to try for other American servers, so I'll keep you guys updated when that does happen. I'd also recommend that you guys do play on off-peak hours, such as this time right now, it's 11pm, and make sure that the server that you are playing on is also at an off-peak hour. So for example, if the time for me is 11 and I go to a server and the time for that server is around 6 or 7, then obviously it's going to be a lot more packed. So make sure you guys do remember that. Anyways, once you find the server with the lowest amount, which for me is NP-STH-02 with 8 people, what you're going to do is head over to this website right over here, status.geforcenow.com. And this website is important as we need to figure out which server is actually which. So if you go into the Zortos website, you can see that there are no direct server names. As if you do go into the GeForce Now app, click on menu and then settings, you can see that there is no NP-STH-02. Instead, you'll see something like Northeast, Northwest and all of these other servers. So what you're going to do is go back into Chrome and go back to server status and you're just going to scroll down until you see all of these EU servers right over here. And you're just going to be clicking that little plus button right next to each of the EU servers to find NP-STH-02. So if I keep clicking here, you can see that NP-STH-02 is under EU Northwest. So what I'm going to do is simply go into GeForce Now and just look for EU Northwest. And once I've confirmed, go to menu, games, and then run the game that you want to run. One downside to this is that you will lag a lot more compared to a server that's near you, but I would say that if you could save time, then it's way better. You can also go back to Zortos right over here, this website, and look for a server that has the second least amount of people, which in my case would be NP-SOF-01 right over here. So go back into server status and look for this here. And you can see it's under EU Southeast. So just go back into GeForce Now, Menu, Settings, and then just go and find EU Southeast right over here. Go into Menu, Games, and then run your game. So for people in the US, it's not as simple. However, based on my experience, the following servers typically tend to have the lowest queues. So the first server I'd recommend is US Northwest and I always use this server when I don't want to wait in long server queues. 
it almost always has fewer people in the queue and loads in much faster compared to other servers. The only issue is that this server can get pretty high in wait time queues at night. So just make sure that you guys remember that. Another server I'd recommend is US Southwest and US Southwest generally has the same player amount in queues as US Northwest but sometimes it has even fewer ranging from 100 to 200 people at times. I'll always use this server if Northwest is overloaded. The third server I'd recommend is US Southeast. And like the other two servers, US Southeast typically has half the amount of people in the rig compared to my closest server, which is CA East. However, this server can get pretty overloaded at peak times. The fourth server I'd recommend is US West. And US West compared to the other servers I mentioned does have higher queues, but I've noticed that US West typically tends to stay more consistent than the other servers throughout the day. This server tends to have shorter queues during the late evening and early morning hours. The fifth server I'd recommend is US Midwest if the other four aren't working good for you. And with this server, it's pretty much 50-50. Some days I've noticed that this is the most overloaded server. And on other days, I've noticed that it has even lower queues than the Northwest and Southwest servers, even when this server is on peak hours. So it's definitely a server I would recommend to try. So the final server that I'd recommend is US Mountain. And US Mountain compared to the other servers I tested typically had less than the others. However, compared to the other five servers I mentioned, it does have significantly higher player queues. During peak times, the server can get overloaded, which is why I would only recommend it if it's the only one left out of the previous five servers. And another thing to note is that all of the servers in GeForce Now can all have low wait queues. It honestly just depends on the time that you are playing because obviously those servers are gonna have different time zones. So for your time, it might seem like it's off peak, but in that server, it can actually be peak. So that's something you guys do need to remember and just check the area on which the server is located and just search up the time there to see if it's an off peak hour. I typically say off peak hours are early morning to very late nights, but sometimes even late nights can be pretty packed. So I'd say early mornings are probably the best bet. Anyways, I hope this video helped. Remember to join as a member for exclusive perks and make sure to join the GeForce Now gift card giveaway by liking and subscribing and writing in the comments that you did all the steps. Thanks for watching.